What women really want from an FLR, presented by LovingFLR.com, and of course, myself, T. Erica Patterson. Hello and welcome to our female-led society where we're experiencing a transition toward a society that supports and empowers women. And we appreciate the men who are dedicated to being a support and making sure that women win. I am T. Erica, the publisher of LovingFLR.com and the author of A Manifesto for a Female-Led Society, She Wants a Loving Female-Led Relationship, and How to Love a Powerful Woman, among many other FLR-related books. Tonight, I'm going to present a very special presentation that I want you to, sh to understand. There's a big difference between FLRs that men want, or that the internet says men wants, and what a woman really wants. From a loving FLR. So take a listen to this presentation. If you have any questions, leave a comment or contact me directly through lovingflr.com. I hope that I'll see you in one of my coaching programs or one of my other classes or in the FLR matchmaking service program. Enjoy the presentation. Hi, I'm T. Erica Patterson. Once again, I am the publisher of LovingFLR.com and the author of all of these wonderful books that are available on Amazon, A Manifesto for a Female-Led Society, Loving Female-Led Relationship Couples Workbook, The Relationship Stories Book, Volume 1, The Enlightened Submissive, which I highly recommend to men who believe that they are submissive, How to Love a Powerful Woman, and my first book, was She Wants a Loving Female-Led Relationships. You should definitely check out all of these books. If not one, you can av they're available on flrstyle.com as well as Amazon uh, on flrstyle.com. They have a study guide. We have a study guide version with questions and quizzes at the end of each one. So you can check that out and access it immediately. So, Let's talk about a loving female-led relationship. A loving female-led relationship is a relationship where the woman's happiness, satisfaction, and progress are the primary focus in the relationship. She sets specific expectations and standards for the relationship, and her partner will do whatever it takes to ensure her happiness. He honors her choices. He ensures that she has everything she needs to create a wonderful life for their family. Couples involved in loving female-led relationships or loving FLRs, have openly agreed that she is the leader in the relationship and he is content in his role as supporter. So there's a difference between a loving female-led relationship and the internet version of female-led relationships, and I want to make this clear. In a loving FLR, there is very little aggression. A man who enjoys a loving FLR enjoys a loving interaction with his partner who supports and appreciates him in return. In the internet-based FLR that is widely spread, men describe wanting cruel, dominating women who disregard their feelings and abuse them. In other words, they use the word assertive a lot. And when they say assertive, they mean they want her to push for what she wants, which means really he's going to deny what she wants so that she can push back, so that he can feel dominated, so that he can feel forced to do the things that he's supposed to be doing willingly. At LovingFLR.com, we focus on supporting couples and singles who want sincere and gentle love. If you're looking for aggression, if you're looking for someone to hurt you, LovingFLR.com won't be the best resource for you. But if you're looking for a relationship that's mutual in love, gentleness, kindness, and support, LovingFLR.com welcomes you. We welcome you and we want you to join our community. So what does leadership mean? Well, you know, that is the major cause of confusion in the minds of most people seeking an understanding of FLRs. What is leadership? Well, these are five myths about leadership. The person who is the leader has absolute power. The person who is the leader is aggressive and controlling. That's not true. All leaders aren't aggressive and controlling. The person who is the leader must be pleased at all costs. That's not true. The person who is the leader is more important than the person that they lead. That's not true. A true leader actually cares for the person that they're leading. That's their responsibility to care for them, for them as well. 
the person who is a leader is a ruler. Okay, so the the problem I have with these myths about leadership is that the fact that these myths are propagated or you know spread out by men because they want somebody who's dominating, controlling, and harsh and aggressive with them. And when I think about how these men feel, it makes me feel sad because I would never treat a person in a way that I wouldn't want them to treat me. So at LovingFLR.com, we don't encourage women to interact with men in a way that I wouldn't find acceptable for the man to interact with the woman. If you don't think it's acceptable to yell at a woman, to scream at a woman, to be harshly harsh and corrective with a woman in a harsh way, if you think that that's ridiculous, then I think that's ridiculous to treat a man in that way as well. But there are men who enjoy that type of interaction and engagement because they're looking for abuse. Where do these myths stem from? Well, the submissive men's fantasy of being subjugated and abused. And subjugated means to place lower than. The submissive man enjoys playing out the fantasy in their minds that they are inferior to women and should be treated as servants who do not truly matter. I totally understand that there are a lot of men who have this fantasy and they gravitate toward the concept of a FLR. They fantasize about it. They run away from women who want to love them gently, who want to take care of them, who want to show appreciation from them because they don't believe that that is strength. They believe strength is overpowering them, yelling at them, cursing at them, criticizing them, and never being satisfied with anything that they do. It turns them on to feel like the lesser class gender. This is the submissive man. And I highly recommend, if you believe you are a submissive man, to read the book I wrote called The Enlightened Submissive. That book was written after working with a couple and couples coaching for loving FLRs. They really encouraged me multiple times to share their story, to share their problems and the insights that I share with them because it helped them to figure out what was going wrong in their relationship. And a lot of it had to do with the so-called submissive man's fantasy of his FLR. The problem with the submissive man's fantasy is most smart women want a partner, not a servant. If you're a smart and intelligent woman, that means you have a lot going on. You're starting businesses, you're helping out in the community, or you're, you're, you're um, really putting all your energy into nurturing your family and, and creating a great life for yourself and your partner and your children. You want someone who's going to stand beside you and work with you, not someone else to tell exactly what to do every single thing. They need, a, what color shirt should I wear? They need to know what step to make. They need to know what, what, what dress to buy. They need to know every single thing. We want a partner. Truly powerful women want a partner, not an additional child. Women want men they respect, not men they rule over. Yes. It's, and, and respect isn't about bowing down to the person. It's about having an understanding of who they are and honoring them for that. Not men that they have to rule over, meaning I have to aggressively tell you to do something before you're willing to do it, which is something that's beneficial for our relationship and our family and our household. Why do I have to push you to take out the garbage? push you to pay the bills on time, push you to spend time with me because you won't do it unless I'm aggressive in correcting you because you don't respect a woman who's kind and gentle because you want abuse. Submissive men become frustrated when they are dismissed and ignored. Of course, you're going to be dismissed and ignored by a powerful woman because you need too much attention. You want the focus to be on you. You want the focus to be on your penis. You want to be the focus to be on the task that you must complete. You want you want to call it a female-led relationship, but you really want all the focus to be on you. When it's a female-led relationship, it's centered around her supporting her happy her happiness, her progress. Not focused around making sure you have your task every day, making sure you're punished every day, making sure to run behind you to figure out what what you're supposed to be doing with your time. That's adding an extra burden. When you introduce a female-led relationship to a woman and you introduce it saying, I want you to be the leader, the her immediate reaction is, dang, 
Now I got to do more. Now I have to take more time out of my schedule to be what you want. And I'm not just saying this from my personal experience. I'm saying this after years and years of coaching women and couples. Men send their wives to me so that they can learn how to be leaders in their relationships. And that is their number one complaint. I'm not good enough how I am. I'm not loving him properly. I'm trying to keep up with his fantasies, but I can't keep up with them. He is supposedly a submissive man, but he's pushing his idea of what he wants the woman to be onto her. And she feels that she's not good enough. And initially in a relationship, if that happens, she's going to leave you alone. If you really want a female-led relationship, you have to be the one to support who she is. Five truths about leadership. Leadership actually means serving the needs of those you lead. You're taking care of them. You're seeing what they lack and you're making sure that those lacks and those weaknesses are, are made up for by your strengths. Leadership is leading by example and not by force. You're showing them how to make a better life for themselves. You're showing them how to treat others, how to treat you, how to interact with the world. Leadership means creating a vision for those you lead and directing everyone to achieve it. Leadership is caring more about the success of those you lead than you care about your own success. Yes, those you lead are going to be serving your vision and serving and supporting your success. But they're only doing that so that you can achieve more, so that you can give more back to your family. That's what leadership is. And that is what women are doing in female-led relationships, if they're healthy. Move on to that. Let's just get to the nitty gritty. What do women want from a female-led relationship? Women want our opinions, desires, and presence to be honored. Honored. Not tolerated. Not checked up on every time, but honored. If I have an opinion, I think this should be blue. If I have an opinion, I really don't like it when you touch me that way. If I have a desire, I would like to go on vacation. I would like to spend time with you. When I walk into a room, I want you to notice and honor that. Women want to be heard. In most average relationships, a woman's needs and desires aren't heard. They're secondary. We've been taught by religion and society that as a woman, our goal or our task in life is to support a man's dreams. When we say we want something, we got to come up with tricks and tactics to get a man to give us what we want. But the reality is we just want to be seen and heard. Hear us. We have opinions that are valuable too. Whoever taught you that women aren't supposed to be valued lied because women are smart and women are capable of leadership and women want to be heard. Hear me, this hurts me when you do this. Hear me, I love it when you touch me that way. Hear me. Women want to feel important to our partner. Don't place me as secondary to your job, to your other family members, to people on the street, to Miss Lynette. Don't place me as secondary to people who are not standing beside you in life. I chose to stand with you. I chose to wear your last name in some cases, to wear your ring, to have your children, to hold the title as the woman who is in your life. Why would you place me as less important than everybody else? Why are my needs being met last? We want to feel important to our partners. Women want to feel special and cherished. I had a, a guy friend who's a very old dear friend of mine who's been married to his wife for since he was 18, I believe he married her. And she has never worked a day in her life. <laughs> never, never, never. He takes care of everything and they have eight children. He takes care of the household. She drives a nice Lexus. Everything is beautiful. But he called me to tell me one night she said she was crying. And he was like, what's wrong with you? And he said, she said, 
I want to feel special. And he's like, all these bills are paid, the cars you drive, that doesn't make you feel special. She said, no. She wanted him to take the time to focus on her, to look at her, to tell her she's beautiful. To recognize that she's the woman that's been with him for 20 years, that's standing with him, with him and to honor her a little bit. Women want to feel cared for above every other person. I'm his priority. He's not out giving gifts to this person and that person, taking care of all these different people and making sure they're okay and bringing his last fruits to me. I am the one that's cared for the most. And if you can do these things with a woman, you've created a loving FLR. That's what it is. It's honoring her. It's cherishing her. It's making sure she feels important. It's making sure that she is taken care of in every single way. And as a man, you should feel proud that you're able to do that. Now, let's talk about a few hot topics, questions that come across my feed quite often as a, a loving FLR expert have written several books, have been coaching FLR couples and singles for more than six years, running um, coaching programs, training programs, and speaking on the topic in various different outlets, I can tell you that these are common questions. Why are FLRs desired more by men than women? Well, men yearn for the power of an aggressive woman to correct them and guide them. Most men do. You say, oh my gosh, if I'm sweet and nice, they don't listen. But when I yell, they listen. For some reason, men are, and then they say that they're supposed to be so powerful, but really they want to lay their head in the woman's lap and be approved by them. That's what men yearn for. And a lot of them want to be corrected aggressively. And they want to be guided by a woman. When you look at any man, seriously, that's well put together, he didn't do that on his own. A woman put him together that way. A woman told him, your shoes are supposed to match your belt. A woman told him, you stand up when a woman walks in the room. A woman told him, you are always to interact gently with women. You never raise your voice or call a woman out her name if you want to be a true gentleman. A woman groomed him to be that way. And men need this and they appreciate this. But sometimes they go a little far because they, they feel that unless it's aggressive correction, it isn't real love or she isn't strong. Tradition dictates that all men are leaders and most people, even men, are not cut out to be leader. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Our tradition dictates that men are supposed to lead everything in every situation. The man, you look to the man to tell what to do. But the truth is, most people, aren't leaders. That's why leadership is so important. Maybe 90% of people don't want to be leaders and don't have the capacity to be leaders. And a lot of them are men, but they're placed in a position of leadership when they can't do it and they don't want to do it and they're frustrated. So that's why a lot of times men desire female-led relationships. When women desire FLRs less than men, because again, most people are not cut out to be leaders. And most people are looking for leadership, including women. So when you come to a woman with the idea of a female led relationship and you're telling her, I want you to be the leader, she thinks you're telling her, I want you to make all decisions and I have no accountability in this relationship. So that's gonna be off putting to her and she's not gonna want that. What you should tell her instead, a female-led relationship is a relationship where your happiness is leading this relationship and I am ensuring that you are going to be happy and well cared for. But you got to tell me what you want and what you need to be happy and well cared for. And I'll make sure that happens. Why are most submissive men dissatisfied when they try to find love? Well, well most submissive men are looking for abuse instead of leadership. So say you say you quote unquote call yourself a submissive man and 
you come to me and you say, you know, I'm looking for leadership. Well, I got some things I want you to do. I always know what I want. I always know what I want for dinner. I always know where I want to go. I always know my goals. I always have a list of tasks that need to be achieved. You want to help? Here's your list. But if I'm speaking to you in a way that's respectful, if I'm telling you I appreciate you, I care about you, I love you, thank you, you're becoming angry. Because you want me to say, hurry up and get this done. You better sit your ass down. Get your stupid ass. You submissive men, for the most part, call themselves submissive because they want aggressive and abusive correction. And this is my personal experience. This is not for me reading a book. I've never read any other FLR books. I've never, I have never. Everything that I'm speaking from, coming from my own experience being a leader in FLR teachings, writing my books, doing surveys. Over, year after year, I do an annual survey for the entire year. I ask men about their attitudes. I ask women about their attitudes. I work with couples privately. I ask them what their secret fears are, what their hopes are, what their problems are. Consistently studying and studying hundreds of couples. Thousands of men participate in my survey. Hundreds of women participate in my surveys, my matchmaking service. I am the person who has interacted the most with people in FLRs one-on-one. -on -one than anyone else in the world. I'm not basing this on what I want. I'm basing this on what I've seen time and time again as a person who is willing to put my real face, my real name, you can Google me, you can find pictures of my children, my family, me on vacation, me chilling outside in the backyard. You can find me. I'm not hiding behind a fake name, a mistress name. This is real research, real insight, real guidance, real bumps and bruises learning about this topic. And time after time, when a man labels himself as submissive, he's saying, I need some aggressive correction. I need some abuse. I don't want to be treated as an equal. Why not? Why not be loved back? Because submissive men, quote unquote, are wired differently. And I, I don't want to, I don't want you to think that I'm picking on submissive men because I understand there's probably not a lot you can do about this feeling and yearning that you have. But understand that when you're saying you want to be a submissive man or you are a submissive man, most likely you're saying I need abuse. They confuse aggressive correction with love. And women want to love genuinely. We were not born into this world to be aggressive, harsh, critical with each other. We come to those um, experiences and desires by how we were raised and our early experiences with love. We're not taught to hit. We're not taught that any kind of love is wrong. When you put two toddlers together, regardless of gender, they're gonna kiss, they're gonna hug, they're gonna love each other. But as they grow up conditioned by society, they're told, you can't kiss him, he's a boy. You can't play with that, you're a girl. You can't do that. You're supposed to do this. And then we're abused and we pass on that abuse to others. And in our early days, we confused that abuse with love. Well, my mom yelled at me, so I'm going to yell at my children. And your children are going to think that's love too. That's why you feel that way as a submissive man. Somewhere, someone taught you that abuse was love, but it's not. But you're still yearning for it. And you could find it. The best thing I would say is pay for it. But I ask you not to go out and try to turn a loving woman into an abusive woman because that's what you need. By irritating her, provoking her, hurting her. What you're doing is you're abusing her so that she can give you the abuse you need. And that is wrong. Don't stress a woman out intentionally so that she can be irritated and fly off the handle with you. Because that's what you need to feel loved. Most women, just like most men and most people, are looking for leaders too. So that's why leadership is so important. And women who are willing to be a leader in a female-led relationship are very important because it's rare. Most women don't know what they want. They even come to my coaching program trying to figure out, I don't know what I want. Help me figure out what I want. And I help them. Because it's not as hard as they think. I help them establish and structure their relationships. I help them learn to communicate better th with their partners. Because there is a leader in every woman.
but she's been told for so many years to quiet that part of herself that she doesn't even know where to begin. And she thinks she needs a leader. What is the difference between a man's fantasy FLR and a woman's fantasy FLR? Well, let's talk about the submissive man's fantasy because remember, I don't work with submissive men. If you want aggressive correction and you want harshness and you want somebody to curse you out and beat you up and and you can't find you can't accept love that's gentle and kind and also serves you, then I don't know what to do with you. So you're a submissive man and your fantasy centers around your desire to be treated as though you are inferior to the woman. And think about how we treat anything that we think is not good enough for us. We disregard it. We step on it. We step over it. He wants her to be aggressive and even abusive, ignoring his feelings and desires because it turns him on sexually to be denied pleasure and hurt him emotionally. That's a, a cross wire in your mind. I don't know if you can change it. I don't know how to help you change it. So when women come to me and they have a submissive partner who needs this type of aggressive correction, I work with them and I tell them how to give it to them in small doses so that they won't in turn feel that they're playing a role or that they're being becoming a woman that they're not, that they don't want to be. Because a submissive man isn't a terrible man. He just has some experiences, his wires across a little bit, and he's confusing aggressive abuse with love. And you can give him a little bit without having to become that person he wants you to be, without having to change everything about yourself. He wants to be forced to care for her or he won't respect her. He needs her guidance to function as a man. That's a definite attribute of a man who calls himself submissive. He needs her guidance. He doesn't know what shirt to wear. <laughs> he doesn't know how to make any decisions. And a lot of men want FLRs because they want a woman to tell them every little step to take. And honestly, a powerful woman is already being powerful in life. For herself, for her children, for her family, for her coworkers, for her community. And she don't have time to add another person to that. Now, this is the type of man that I work with or the type of man I try to train in my loving FLR coaching programs for men. A gentleman's fantasy FLR. I'm teaching men how to become gentlemen. It centers around catering to a woman's needs and desires. He wants to ensure that she is happy and well cared for. He wants to be respected and appreciated in return. He enjoys being her hero and allows her to love him gently and without aggression. He doesn't need to be forced. He provides for her willingly. He is his own leader, yet he enjoys ensuring that she wins. He's a winner in life. And he wants a winner by his side, so he makes sure she wins too. He doesn't want to win over her. He doesn't want to make sure she knows she's wrong. She knows she's stupid. She knows she needs cor need correction. Why would a man who is a winner want a loser by his side? If you are constantly trying to show a woman that she is losing to you in her arguments, in her, in her desires, in her, her opinions, then you're a partner with the loser. You should want her to win. A woman's fantasy FLR, honestly, it can't be determined. All the women I work with wanted totally different things. Some women wanted to wake up in the morning, do yoga with their partner and meditate and travel the world. I'll never forget that woman. <laughs> Some women want, you know, just relief from household duties. Some women want their dreams supported. Some women want just to be cherished and loved. And some women want to be the aggressor in bed and, and they're tired of waiting for their partner to, to initiate things. Every woman is different and wants different things from life. But the main ingredient in all women's fantasy FLRs is to be heard, respected, and cared for without having to force a man to listen. That is one of the biggest complaints that I hear. 
He knows I like this. He knows I appreciate this. He knows that I expect this, but he won't do it unless I'm constantly nagging him about it. Unless I come up to him and aggressively tell him, you better get in there. He's looking for a mom. And once you tie the knot, once you decide to marry, once you decide to partner, you have moved on from your mother. Now you need to stand up and be a hero partner to your wife. She shouldn't have to tell you to do adult things. She shouldn't have to nag you and run behind you to take care of her and the family. That's what you signed up for when you partnered with her. She shouldn't have to force you to listen to her needs. A woman's fantasy FLR is being cared for without having to force it. No woman that I've ever met has said to me, I want to force a man to do everything I want. I enjoy yelling at him. No woman has ever said that. They've all said, I want to be myself and I want to be loved for that. And I want to be cared for and I want to be listened to. And I want to be placed as the priority. When you place a woman as the priority in your life, if you place her happiness, her well-being, her satisfaction as your priority, your responsibility, you have created a loving FLR. If you have any questions, if you want to discuss what I've um, shared in this presentation, please do leave a comment. My email is in the description if you want to send me an email. I have a FLR coaching by email program if you want to go back and forth with me and talk about some of the topics I've discussed here. Or if you want private one-on-one -on -one, um, conversations, we can arrange those as well. Please subscribe to LovingFLR.com. Make sure you watch the rest of the videos on this channel and let me know what else you want to hear. Any questions you might have, leave a comment and I'll be sure to create a video or address it on the LovingFLR.com blog. I am T. Erica. Thank you so much for listening.